Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Barry Beckham. For those who may be just a little concerned about downloading and installing slide styles or themes, allow me to take you through the process. Don't worry, it's all pretty quick and easy, but it can be reassuring to see the process first. Everything is easy in life once we've done it a few times. Let's begin the process on my website. This is the main page. If you go to the Pictures to XE menu, go to the PTE AV Studio 10, there you'll find a page called Styles and Themes. When this appears, we've got a number of choices we can make. We're going to pick something fairly simple here. Let's take this one here. It's a slide style and a theme, and as you can read, it's based on two landscape images. So I give you the opportunity to just press play and play this in YouTube. But if you want to download the theme and the style, you just need to click here. Now when we do that, quite often our computer will ask us where we want to store the file. Sometimes if it doesn't ask us, it may put it straight into my documents or even into the downloads. I like to place mine on my desktop, just a personal choice, and you can see it's defaulted to that place. So I'm just gonna click save, and it's going to take seconds to download those couple of files because they're not large. That's it, we're done on the internet. Let's go back to my desktop because we need to unzip two files. So here on my desktop, you can see the folder that I've just downloaded. We can clearly see it's a zip file by the fact that it's got a zip down the yellow folder. Now with these styles and themes, I've zipped them together simply because there's more than one file for you to download. There's two files zipped together in that one folder. One of them contains the styles and the other one, the theme. So let's unzip the folder. If I right click and choose extract all and extract, my computer will create another folder for me and it's tucked it way up at the top left, so I'll bring it down here where we can see it. As you can see, it leaves the original zip file. Now, it's not a bad idea to create a dedicated storage folder for the styles and themes that you download. They're not huge files, so to have them safely stored somewhere is always a good idea. But now I can go straight to PTE AV Studio because I've unzipped the folder and now all we need to do is to import both the category of styles and the theme. So with the main screen of PTE AV Studio open, the button that we require is down at the bottom left, but you can see that the styles and themes is greyed out. We need to have at least one image in the slide list down at the bottom there before that button will come alive. Now the slide styles I'm about to demonstrate require two images and they're six different styles. So you can see that I've put 12 images here. So not only can I demonstrate the styles, but also the theme when we move on to that in a few moments. So for the moment, I need to get those 12 images down into the slide list. I'm going to do that with shift click. In other words, select the first thumbnail from the file list, hold the shift key and select the last, and I can drag them all the way down. Now the button comes alive. I can select that and the options we're looking for will open up. We need to go to the tools button bottom left and we need to import our style. Just making sure we've gone to the right place. There's the desktop. There's the folder that I unzipped. Now you may be surprised when I said that I'd zipped together two files. Well, we're working here with slide styles, so we're only seeing the slide style that we need to import. When we come back to the same location in a few moments, we'll also see that there's a theme there too. I'll double click, and as you can see, it'll appear on the left-hand side. If I go to the top here, 
we get a representation of exactly what that style is going to do. So we could skip down all of these to pick whichever one we wanted. But the best thing to do, I think, is if I apply all six of those to the images that I've got here. So I'm going to close this just for a moment. I'm going to just select the first two images because remember, we're only going to apply one style here. And when we go into our styles, it's telling us that it requires two images. So I can highlight it and hit apply down at the bottom right, or I can just double click. There's the style. If I select the next two and go back in, I can double click number two and so on. Now I'll continue all the way down here for the other three styles. Now once I've applied all of those styles to the 12 images, I suppose we'd need to test them just to make sure that the styles have imported and they're working correctly. So let's take a look. Slide styles are a great time saver. Because if we consider this piece of animation, although we're only using two inset images, it takes a little time to create the animation and to make sure we've got the speed options set correctly. But of course, once we've done that and we've saved the slide style, we can apply this style to one image or a hundred images in just a couple of clicks. But remember, if we want a multitude of different styles applied, well, that's when we need to turn our attention to themes because all a theme is, is a collection of the slide styles you choose. So here we are back in the main screen of PTE AV Studio. I've cleared the slide styles that we had in the slide list before and I've just dragged down my 12 images once again. It's not my intention here to demonstrate how we create themes. I've already got videos on that subject. What I want to do is simply import it and apply it. To do that, we need to go down to our styles and themes. This time, making sure we select the themes options rather than the styles. But from now on, it's much the same. If we then go to the tools, we can import the theme. There's the theme, just making sure I'm in the right place. I can double click or I can highlight and open whatever is your choice. So there is the category and there is the theme. It's telling us there's six styles. So we've got 12 images here. Let me close down that styles and themes window. What I'll do here is go to the end, select the last. To the front, hold the shift key and select the first styles and themes into my themes and double click. There we have exactly what we did just a few moments ago, but here we've applied all those different slide styles in one theme within seconds. What I'd like to do here is to just begin another full screen preview. We're not going to see anything different because we're seeing exactly the same slide styles, but now they're applied within a theme quickly and easily. One thing to remind you though, when I'm doing or making an on-screen video like this, I'm capturing the screen and I cannot capture enough frames a second to really do justice to the animation and the transitions within PTE AV Studio. So whenever we do a full screen preview like this, please make some allowance. It'll be much nicer on your own computer. Now we used 12 images because the theme contains six styles. If I highlighted 48 images from the slide list in PTE AV Studio, then the theme would automatically be applied four times, or as many times as images we selected. Now I do have a video already made on how you can create your own themes. It's very, very quick and easy because all the hard work's done by whoever produced the slide styles.
Once the slide styles are there, you could select whatever slide styles you like. They could be just your personal favorites and you can incorporate them into a theme. Now I hope this short video has reassured those of you who may be just a little wary of downloading files from the internet and installing them into PTE AV Studio. You've seen the process from start to finish. It's pretty quick, painless, and it's safe. I'll see you next time.